Bart versus Thanksgiving. This episode was first broadcasted on Thanksgiving Day of 1990, November 22nd, written by George Meyer and directed by David Silverman. It is Thanksgiving and Lisa makes a dinner table centerpiece, which Bart destroys. Marge tries to get Bart to apologize, but he refuses and is subsequently sent to his room. Bart runs away and finds a soup kitchen and some homeless men. Eventually, Bart returns home and climbs to the roof of the Simpsons' house where he hears Lisa sobbing. He apologizes to her and the family happily enjoys a meal of leftovers. It's a good episode, but not a particularly great one. It's one of the first times that Bart really gives Lisa a hard time for no real reason whatsoever, except he's got to be the center of attention. Like, seriously, why does he destroy the centerpiece that Lisa made? Why? So Bart can hold the turkey and be the center of attention. That's just Bart being a selfish jerk. But then again, that's the point of the episode. Bart's supposed to do something dickish and then learn his lesson over the course of the episode. I don't have a problem with that whatsoever. What I do have a problem with it is how the episode kind of plays it out. The episode tries way too hard to be a little more dramatic than usual instead of mixing the right blend of comedy and drama like they did with Bart Gets an F to start the season. Not to say that they go for the full dramatic effect, but in the middle act of the episode, there's more serious moments than there are comedic moments. The episode also has probably my most hated cliche in film and TV, the dream sequence, when Bart envisions everybody giving him the worst possible shit when he returns home. And honestly, it just takes the episode down because it's just so cliched. It does absolutely nothing new that we haven't seen done other times that hasn't been done already. And it felt like it was just forced in because they had to add three minutes to the running time. The episode does have its memorable lines, such as Marge's mother telling her she's never done anything right, even after telling her that after she has laryngitis and it hurts to talk, and Homer saying, Oh Lord, be honest, are we the most pathetic family in the universe or what? But I will admit the last scene where Bart and Lisa do reconcile is nicely done. It works because of the the great work by Nancy Cartwright and Dorothy Smith. It feels genuine, it works on all levels, and it does show Bart, you know, thinking about what he did was wrong, and while you never... is, and then you get the reason for it, and you know he realizes that oh yeah, I know why I know why what I did was wrong. I don't know. I don't know why I did it. I don't know why I enjoyed it, and I don't know why I'll do it again. Just tell me you're sorry. Why should I? Bart, the only reason to apologize is if you look deep down inside yourself and you find a spot, something you wish wasn't there, because you feel bad, you hurt your sister's feelings. Leave me alone. Just look. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Looking for the spot. Still checking. Oh, this is so stupid. I'm not going to find anything. Just because I wrecked something she worked really hard on and I made her cr- Uh-oh. I'm sorry, Lisa. Apology accepted. I could say the same thing for the entire episode, but honestly, the first ten minutes and the last three minutes are really the only strongest elements of the episode. That middle act just kind of helps take it down a peg, but um, it takes a lot of the great things the episode was trying to go for here, but it's not a bad episode per se. It's just not a very good one either. Good episode, not one of the show's best, though. Uh, Mixed episode to say the least. You know, Marge, we're great parents. Oh, Lord. On this blessed day, we thank thee for giving our family one more crack at togetherness. Amen. Amen.